again, it is the frog getting slowly boiled to death. It's the fact that evangelicals switched from being uh, people who advocate for traditional morality to the chief American defenders of not only relativistic morality, but all that used to be considered sacred being trashed. They're defending a man who has trashed fidelity in his own life and with the words he speaks nationally. They have trashed truth-telling and have embraced this idea of everything being fake news that they disagree with. They have even trashed common decency. So what we're now watching, Joy, as a kind of an appendage of the Trump presidency is one of the greatest downfalls of a religious order, if you want to put it that way, we've ever known. It's only comparable with the first breaking news of the vast international uh, phenomena of child abuse inside the Roman Catholic Church. But at that time, the leaders themselves, at least, were saying, yes, this is bad, and pretending not to go along. Now the evangelicals have gone to the next step. They have actually become the instigators of evil themselves. So when Franklin Graham defends Donald Trump, he is defending a man who is not only destroying the reputation of this country, but who has become the figurehead for, in a bad sense, the Me Too movement. The president himself, an assaulter, a criminal assaulter of women who bragged on it and called anyone who accused him a liar in a party that now represents the grossest underbelly of human primate behavior. How's that for an ending to a movement that started out talking about saving babies, yeah. remaining virgins until marriage, uh, fidelity within marriage, the sacredness of the family, and so forth? It yeah. is a reversal that's just mind-boggling. Absolutely. To, to say nothing.